Hey guys, it's Stacey Nicole here with SNS Scraps, and this is a January 2016 kit share. I based this kit on this um, a chipboard sticker sheet from Maggie Holmes Open Book Collection. And from there, I just pretty much picked certain colors um, that I really wanted to work with. For instance, the golds, um, this kind of tealish, turquoisey color. Um, corals and pinks and a little bit of yellows so from there I went ahead and picked my paper um, to go with this I picked the Jador collection by basic gray again it's got those yellows the pinks the corals and that turquoise teal color and somewhere in the bottom here here we go it's a stack of project life cards again I told you guys that I will me just grabbing a nice sizable stack to try to work with every month try not to overthink it um and just go with it and see where that leads maybe hopefully i can get some of those used up um sticker sheets i pulled this this is new even though it's really old um these Teresa collins labels throw that underneath there to go with a maggie holmes theme i pulled these um I think these are, yeah, style board word stickers. So there's those. Um, oops, sorry, smacking my camera. You guys know, you know me too well. I smack my camera, I cannot help it. Okay, and I just went ahead and grabbed these alphas. These are my Mind's Eye Sweetest thing. Uh, probably about two years ago. So whatever I do not use up this time, they are going into the donation pile. Um, these are my mind's eye. It's a sticker sheet that I've played with a bit and I would like to get used up. Again, it's got a lot of that tealish, I don't know what color you call this, tealish turquoise. That's what I'm going with. And it's also got the yellows and like a coral orange. From Pretty Little Studio, I grabbed these arrows again with the corals, the pinks, and the yellows. Um, I got some flare hair from uh, Studio Calico that has those corals in it as well. Um, I'd like to get these used up. I only have four. I think I could achieve that. That's, that's not a big goal to that. But they've been in my pile for probably about three or four months. It's time to let go. Even though I love that collection. Every month I am picking a stamp or stamp set to work with. Um, I hope to get some more stamp sets for my project life. I love stamp sets. And it's something that I've wanted to incorporate in my scrapbooking and that's one of my goals this year for scrapbooking. So there's that. Um, let me pull this here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Let me move this here. This is just all my ephemera I went through and I told you those colors that I picked like the teals, the pinks, the the teal turquoise in the pinks and the corals. I picked those. This is my old stash that was um, organized by color. I no longer will be organizing by color. Um, I will be organizing for instance if I have a new ephemera pack like this and I'll be putting those in here. Um, I have a new ephemera pack. When I'm done with the kit, they'll be immediately moved to a five drawer little organizer and I will be labeling them. And when I run out of my little organizers, I have three. Let me show you. I apologize. I should have done this earlier and had it all set up. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So, for instance, and these Maggie Holmes ephemera here from Confetti, when I am done playing with these in my kit, they'll go inside a drawer. I have three of these, and they have five drawers each. Let me move that back. So, um, once I run out, it means i got to use up some stash. <laughs> so, I went ahead and picked up these. There we go. Again, it's got that pinks and all those wonderful colors. Some more Maggie Holmes goodies are these faux leather bows from Confetti. And then I also have some tags from the open book collection. I had to cut those down to fit in my kit. But um, those will also go in this empty space over here. Alright, and some enamel dots. I just pulled three different enamel dots. I try not to overthink. Um, when I make my kit, I kind of overdo it. And I'm like, no, you... Let me tell you, 
when I made this kit, I probably had put back a good half of it because I was like, Stacy, come on, it's a month. It's not like you're taking this kit to a crop to do like dozens and dozens of layouts, but you get the situation. I pulled some washi. I kind of want to incorporate this darker brown color as well as the golds, and then I just pulled the pink and a teal. I pulled some layering goodies. Let me see if I can make more room here. I feel like I'm up in your face. Haha. -ha. I pulled some layering goodies, like some frames, some tags, and all that good jazz. That back there. And I believe that is it. That is my kit for the month. All nice and organized. Woohoo for me. <laughs> Let me tell you, this took a lot of thought and a lot of process. Like, I was just kind of overdoing it in the beginning. <laughs> like, you need to chill. And I just, again, save those two empty spots. Um, For instance, these tags will go in the open book one. Because not only do I want to keep the collection separate, I want to keep, like, the brand separate and everything. And then um, these cute little bows and this ephemeral will go in here. And that is January 2016 first month's kit. All right, guys, I hope I inspired you to use your stash.